Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today I would like to go through Chromatex Professional Watercolor Brush Pens. This is a set of 52 it says. Um, so I'm kind of assuming it's maybe a couple of water brushes and then 50 colors. I have not opened this yet. They so kindly asked if I would review these um, watercolor brush pens for them after I contacted them um, asking if the 50 set of their glitter gel pens would be coming back in stock. They asked me if I wanted to review these for them and I said sure. <laughs> so one thing I did notice on here is it does say 48 vivid unique colors two blending brush pens, handmade real brush tips, blendable, water-based, non-toxic, easily washable, long-lasting, and durable. So I'm not sure why it says 48 vivid unique colors. I guess we'll find out when we get into the package. I, When I glanced at it, I seen a couple of water brushes in here. Um, so I guess I just assumed the other 50 were the colors, but I guess we will find out. I am going to be swatching these out, and I am using the Strathmore Bristol vellum paper. And I just quickly wrote out, drew out a chart that we will use. I'll just tear this off. Sure. There we go. Okay, and I do have one of my water um, brush pens or water water pen. Water man, I can't think this morning. Uh, this is a Pentel water brush. That's it, a water brush. All right, so let's open these up and see what they look like. I did contact them back. When I looked at these on the, I was going to say website, on Amazon, I did notice that they did not have color names or color numbers of any sort. And I said, you know, us in the color community, that's kind of a big deal <laughs> because we like to swatch out our things. Um, and they did let me know that they are aware of that and they are going to be um, putting out, manufacturing a second version of these pens that will include, now I'm not sure if it's just going to be a color name, if it's going to be uh, just a number or if it's going to be a combo, but there is going to be an update to this product um, with that on each pen. Um, not sure when that's going to be out. It's probably going to be a good couple of months before those will be available though. So I said I would go ahead and just review this set that is available right now. You also receive in this pack, let's put that up there, you do get a watercolor tutorial pad. And what they have out on their website at chromatech.net slash tutorials, they actually have video tutorials to teach you how to watercolor, um, you know, and kind of how to use these pens. So I thought that was neat. I have not looked at that yet to see what that all entails, but you do get 12 sheets of this uh, nice watercolor um, paper. It is a five size, it is 300 GSM cold press. So we may um, may open this up, even though I was going to swatch them out on here, I may open this up and just see how they actually work on their watercolor paper too. Didn't really realize this was in here. Okay. These coloring pages and accompanying tutorials will have you painting like a pro in under a day. Well, I don't know about that, but... <laughs> okay, and again, they list their website, chromatech.net. So yeah, we'll, we'll get a piece of that out too. All right, again, I have not 
looked at these yet, but ooh, lots of pretty colors. And I think what I'm going to do is I am just going to, um, because there are no color names, I am just going to pull like for now, I will pull all the yellows and I will just go according to the tip that's on the bottom um, and kind of go by, you know, what the pen itself looks like. And I think what I'll do is do the same thing to these pens that um, what I did with my zigs, and that is to color it out on a piece of paper, um, a thicker paper, punch it out with a hole punch, and then glue it to the top because that's what I had seen. I forgot who showed that in a YouTube video to uh glue that to the top so you can see what the actual color of each pen is so i do think that's what i will be doing with these i probably will be also you know me with having to mark things and make swatch charts i probably will just be putting a number one through 50 i'm thinking on here so that when i make make my swatch chart i know which pen corresponds to the color Again, in the future, you will have a either a color number, name, or combo. Again, I'm not sure. So let me grab the yellows out. I'm going to do these in order that I normally do all my color charts in, going from, you know, yellow, orange, red, pinks, purples, blues, greens, browns, gray, and black. So I am going to right now pull out the yellows. And I will put these to the side. It does look like, you know, we have a few neons. So it looks, yeah, looks kind of like there's like three neons over here. Again, I'm not sure why the packaging said 48. Does it say vibrant? Let me see what it says. 48 vivid unique colors, but... I don't know. I still see. I thought I seen 50. I guess we'll find out. Maybe two of them aren't vivid. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. Because there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yes, 25 in each tray and then a water brush. So yeah, to me it looks like there's 50. But I guess we shall find out. Okay, that looks like a brown. Let's get out these four yellows. Put the trays up here. And I will get out the watercolor brush that I had filled. And looks to me like, now these two look very similar, so... But on the bottom, this one looks brighter, so we'll go in this order. And I got my handy-dandy little piece of paper towel over here to wipe my watercolor brush off on. Make sure it's clean, primed, and ready to go. Okay, let me zoom you guys in. How is that? Okay, let's see what these guys do. They are nice and juicy. And they do blend out really nice. Okay, let's try the next one. And they do cap on quite tightly. Oh yeah, they blend up really nice. Make sure I got this cap on tight, okay. And a little bit, I think, darker yellow. And again, because these are brush tip, they're not gonna color like markers. <laughs> Very nice. And I'm not even using much water. And it looks like a little bit darker yellow. Oh, this is a peach. Okay. Well, I guess it's not really peach. It's kind of 
an orangey yellow and so let's get a little more water out there yeah okay let's grab this one it looks more orangey oh they are on tight Some more water out of here. There we go. Nice. Okay, do we have any more yellows or bright orange? Let's get the neon one. Pardon my arm. I should see if I can get these over on the side over here so my arm isn't going in front of you guys all the time. Okay, let's try. Looks like a neon orange. Oh my. That is definitely a neon orange. They don't seem, you know, again, because they are brush tips and I am coloring on watercolor paper that has that texture to it, but they don't seem overly juicy. You know, not like their, like their glitter gel pens are super juicy. Um, let's go to this one. And it could be just, we know how all neon things work, right? They're usually, usually have problems with all neons. Brush pen, or uh, gel pens and neons usually have a problem. Because the other ones seem to be doing okay. Let's see, what is uh, this one? That looks like a neon pink. Okay, this one looks more like a a uh, flesh tone. Again, I really wish these had names. Yeah, this is more of a flesh tone. Nice. Okay, they like I said, they do blend out nice. Here is more of a Kind of a red orange. Oh, nice. I do like these. All right, let's get into some of the reds then and we have a number of them over here let's see okay we have let's go from the brightest there's quite a few reds in this set Now, these would work completely different in coloring books where the paper is more smooth. But yes, they blend out wonderfully. Looks like a little bit. Now these two, the, the colors, the caps look pretty much identical. This one's just maybe a hair lighter. But yeah, they look very, very similar. So we shall see. Because yes, that is a much darker red. Okay. Take the next one. Okay, this one is a little bit. This is like a true red, where that one is a little bit darker. So yes, it definitely pays to swatch out your mediums. Really nice. Then we have a couple of really dark, dark reds. Where am I? Okay, let's try almost like a maroon. Or a wine red, huh? Okay. 
and that color moves instantly. Love it. Then a real dark red, it looks like. No, this is more on the brown side, I guess. It was next to the other reds in the, the tray, so I thought maybe it was a red, but I guess not. Again, if they would have had names, maybe would have been able to distinguish it a little better. Okay, so that is a pretty brown, not a red. <laughs> Let's go on to the pinks, then. There are quite a few pinks and purples. This is like a very neon color. Kind of a neon coral. Cross between a pink and a and an orange. Okay. And we have a light pink. Looks brighter in the on screen than, than what it does in, in person. That's a nice, pretty pale pink. Pretty. All right, here I think would be the next pink. Hard to get them out of these trays. I definitely will not be leaving them in those trays. And here's a little bit darker of a pink. That's a pretty color. Am I on screen here? Sorry, I had the paper tip towards me. <laughs> okay, let's get out another one. This is a, another pink, more vivid. Kind of a carnation pink. And getting more into a purpley pink. More of a lilac. I can see already how these would blend together, too. Pretty. Another one that's kind of a lilac type or a, a purple pink. Oh, that's pretty. Love that. This one, previous one's almost a mauve, and so. But look how they blend out completely. Wow. Alrighty, let's get into more of the purple colors. <clears throat> Again, this one kind of looks like a purple pink or magenta color. Yes, very similar to the previous one, just maybe a shade darker. Very pretty. Yes. All right, then we have a light purple. And it's not real light. It's uh, a deep kind of orchid color. Well, I guess that's kind of similar. Um, they don't match the covers exactly, but they're, they're pretty close. Pretty. All right, and then we have a darker purple. And I may just go ahead and give these colors names myself when I make up my color chart. Oh, I love that. Pretty color. All right, we are going to go from that into, this looks like a deep purple. Not a whole lot darker than the previous one, though. Very similar. Yeah, very, very similar in color. Maybe that's why they said 48. Maybe they gave you a couple duplicates. Hmm, 
yeah, it doesn't really say, so I'm not sure. Okay, then we're going to get into the blues. Well, I got the blue. All right, here we have a very pale blue. Oh, that's a beautiful sky blue. A little bit darker than what the cap shows. So again, that's why I would swatch them out and glue it to the cap. But beautiful sky blue. Oh, that would be really pretty in a sky. Look how that blends with the previous color. Isn't that pretty? I like that. So they really do move even after, you know, they're drier. Let's let's test one of these first ones. Get some water out. Okay, they don't move as well once they're dried. They really don't move much. I guess that's something to keep in mind. Yeah, they really don't move once they are dried onto the paper. Hmm. And this is, you know, watercolor paper, so. All right, here's a little bit more vivid blue. Oh, another really pretty bright sky blue. Where that one's more of a powder blue. And this one's more on the aqua side. I mean, they, they blend out beautifully while they are wet, but doesn't look, you know, and maybe that could be an advantage if you don't want to reactivate the previous color, you know, kind of like what uh, the ink tents are, where uh, you, once you, you know, color them out and you activate them with water and then they dry, they don't reactivate. It's kind of what these are. So if you put a color next to here and you don't want to reactivate that and, and make it muddy, Oh, sure, I say that, and then it look at that. So it does reactivate a little bit, I guess. Oh, see, that was my fault, because if you go back and you reactivate this end, I was trying to reactivate the kind that was already swatched out, so they do reactivate nice, even after they're dried. So that is my mistake. Wow, they reactivate very nice. when once they are dried okay that is good to know you don't have to you know activate them right away very quickly let's see where are our other blues okay here is a, another a lighter blue <clears throat> go back up here Okay, this looks just a shade darker than the previous one. Very pretty. I keep saying that, don't I? They are pretty. Here is the next one. Oh, that's pretty. Beautiful, you know, colorful water. Looks like a cerulean type blue. Nice. Okay, and then a little bit of a darker blue. This almost looks like a royal blue. We'll see. Kind of, yeah, it's kind of your typical blue. Pretty. Then we have a little bit get over here a little bit darker of a blue again and this is more on the purple side okay so this is a blue violet look at how that's bleeding can you guys see that blending in together that's really cool so they definitely activate very very nicely here is probably more of a purple that I missed. <laughs> yes, definitely. This is a darker shade of purple. So we do have a, a deeper purple. I was hoping so. Okay, then a little bit darker yet of a blue.
a little bit darker, deeper than the previous blue. And then let's get into the greens. Oh no, here is one more darker color blue. Oh, and this is kind of like a blue gray, and so, or more of a denim gray, midnight gray, navy. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. Nice. Okay, then I think we can get on to the greens, and there are a ton of greens. Let's see. Here is a nice bright spring green. Kind of like a yellow chartreuse. And again, look at it reactivate with the previous color. That is neat. I like that. <laughs> All right. And then we have another bright green. Looks to be more of like a chartreuse. Yep. Pretty spring green. All right, and we have another brighter green. Oh, this is almost like a, not quite a neon, but it's pretty bright. I could see blending this with, you know, something else too. Yeah, that's, that's a very vivid green. <laughs> All right, here's another lighter, brighter type of green. God, I hope I wasn't off camera that whole while. Yeah, there is a nice mid-tone green. Okay. One more, kind of a mid green. And here comes a misty. Here's your regular green. Previous one was kind of a spring green yet and so. Nice. Then we have a getting into a darker green. Kind of a forest green. Oh, that's pretty. Gee, I keep saying, ooh, that's pretty. Oh, yeah. Look at how easily that moves. Wow. And then I probably should have put this over more with the blues. It looks like a real turquoise type of color. Yeah, definitely goes with the blues. That's a real turquoise or aqua type of color. Very pretty. Okay, then we can get into some of the earth tones. Tons of browns. So if you like greens and browns, there's plenty of blues too. I mean, very nice selection for a 50 set. They do have a smaller set available too. This 50 set is only like 25 bucks. So it's, you know, only like 50 cents a pen, which I don't feel is too bad. Here's a little bit more of like a, what would you call that? More of an ochre? Nope. Almost has a green tinge to it. Yeah. Okay. Here we have more of an orangey brown. This is more of an ochre. All right. 
right and then we'll go to a little bit darker of an ochre maybe type of color and sort of this would be pretty for like trees all right There's a few more in here yet another a little bit darker brown Church bells are ringing. Must be 8 o'clock. Alright. Another that's a little bit darker. That's a nice brown. Okay, then we have, this is probably more olive. It should have probably went with the greens. <laughs> yes, nice olive green. So my colors are all over the place. <laughs> nice olive green. Then we have a few grays and then the black. So here is like a cool gray. Looks like we have a cool gray and a warm gray, which is nice. Perfect. That way you don't have a gazillion grays in the set because I don't like a gazillion different grays in my set. Yes, and a nice warm gray. So that's awesome. That is just perfect to me anyhow. I know some of you may use a lot more grays than I do, but and then the black. And that is a nice deep black. Let's see how it blends out. Oh nice. Yes. Okay. There are our 50 colors. Again, I'm not sure why the box says 48. Let me zoom you back out. So yes, there are all 50 colors. They are very vivid. Again, a couple of these look identical and that may be why they say 48. These look very similar and these two look very similar. The rest of them all definitely have their own unique color. Um, but yes, these two and these two. And yeah, that may be why they have 48 on there. Okay, let's get out that watercolor paper that they included. And let's see if my nails will get this open because I do not have a knife over here. No. Yeah. All right, we're getting there. Okay. Again, you get 12 sheets in this pad. Oh, okay. So they give you a picture. And let's see what it says on here. Please read before using to view the tutorials that go with this book. Um, sign up for discounts and giveaways. Occasionally we run giveaways and we often send out discount vouchers to our subscribers. So there is a website, chromatech.net slash subscribe. There is a 30-day money-back guarantee. It says, we've put a lot of love and hard work into creating our products, and we're sure you'll enjoy using them as much as we enjoyed making them. If, however, there is any problem with your purchase, then returns are free and easy. Just return your purchase within 30 days, and we'll refund it or replace it. No questions asked. Then it does also have some, uh, if you need to get in touch with them, info at chromatech.net. Sending happy vibes from Tokyo, Sam and Mary, Chromatech. So, these products are from Tokyo. 
Okay, they highly recommend using Chromatech watercolor brush pens with this tutorial book. All right, let's see. Let's see exactly what's... So, yeah, it must go along with the tutorials on their website. Here you must color it in. You can't even really see these, can you? Well, it's not going quite that far. So here we have, let me start over, a colored in version. And we'll just, we'll test some of the pens on this first paper. Kind of showing you how to blend the colors in here. Looks like to be a feather. And it looked like there were a couple of those. This is very nice, heavy watercolor paper. There is that initial flower that must teach you on the page how to color that, or on the website, I should say, how to color that in. Another one. Here is a pear, and I'm sorry if this is bright. Let me, excuse me, let me turn off my light here, and then maybe you can see it a little better. That's kind of dark now. Boy, I can't win. Let me turn my light back on and then just turn it down. It's a little better. Okay. And then we have another pair. Looks like a jellyfish. Can you see that as much as possible? <laughs> and another jellyfish. So they, they give you a couple of each to practice on. And here is a bug, a beetle. I'm assuming there will be a second one. Yes. So yes, this is very heavy. This must be like 140 pound. We'll see if it states on the front. Oh, and a hummingbird. And maybe I skipped past one here. Yes, there are two hummingbirds. That would be pretty. Does it say? Oh, it says 300 GSM. Not sure, is that comparable to like 140 pound? It is cold press watercolor paper. So let's just get out a vibrant color and let's see how it blends out on this particular paper that they have included. So we have the cold press paper. Oh yeah, works real good. Very really similar to the paper that I had, which is the Strathmore Bristol vellum. Oh yeah, works very, very nice. Let's get out a green. Let's try to just, you know, I'm not gonna blend those two colors. That was a bad choice. Okay, let's uh, maybe get out a pink on the other side and just blend these two together. Water, please. Oh, they blend together nice. Okay, so yes, their, their paper is nice. I don't know if they have their own paper pads or watercolor paper available out on Amazon. I guess I didn't check. Um, if I can find it, I will link that down below too. Otherwise, I will leave links to both sets. Again, this is the 52 set. I think the other one is possibly the 25 or maybe 26, so that it's half half um, the size as this set. Um, zoom you back out. So yes, this watercolor paper is very nice. I'm going to leave that open so that dries. Um, but that is their tutorial pad, which is, I think, a neat feature that they have included with their pens. I am in the process of getting a video together where I am going to compare a whole bunch of different watercolor papers with a whole bunch of different watercolor mediums. Um, I have a number of different watercolor brush pens. I have watercolor pencils, um, Albert Dürer and Inktense. 
I have the Karen Dosh Nail Color 2s, and I do have the Spectrum Noir Aqua Markers. So I do have a wide variety of watercolor mediums to test, and I have probably a good dozen different watercolor papers. So that may be a little bit of a lengthy video, but I thought it would be really interesting to see how each one of those watercolor mediums reacted on the different watercolor papers. Some of them a little bit, you know, more expensive, all the way down to the Crayola watercolor paper or your student grade watercolor paper. Um, I did notice Faber-Castell has their student level watercolor paper out there. So I there are a few I, I want to get yet. Um, and I've been in contact with a couple of the other companies um, to see if, uh, you know, I could show their particular paper um, in this example, in this video. So um, it's, it's just something that's in the works. And I hope to bring that to you within the next few weeks, I guess, when I hear back. Um, and I can get everything together and how I want to do it and whatnot. But anyhow, this is the demo then and the review for the Chromatech 52 set of watercolor brush pens. And I think they are awesome. Again, the only thing that I found, um, number one, this set for now does not have color numbers or names. They are aware of it. Again, they are coming out with a different version a little bit down the road. Number two, um, I did feel a few of the pens were a little bit drier and not quite as juicy as some of the others, but the vast majority of them, nice and juicy. And again, I have to mention, you know, they're they're not going to come out like a juicy marker because of the brush tip. So they are, you know, and especially on, you know, rougher watercolor paper, um, it doesn't come out, you know, um, quite as juicy as what like a juicy alcohol marker will. So, you know, I guess we have to keep that in mind. But a couple of them did still seem a little bit drier than the majority of the others. These all seemed really good. So it was more up in, you know, just a couple up in here, I think that seemed a little bit drier. But other than that, I think they are awesome. I am looking forward to doing some playing around and coloring with these um, watercolor brush pens, maybe trying to use them in conjunction with my Artezas and my Zigs. Um, and just kind of, you know, see how they all play together. See if they play nicely. And again, that's another reason why I want to get out, you know, this other video together is you can kind of do a comparison between the different brush pens as I swatch them out on all the different watercolor papers. Kind of give us an idea of what's better um, or if they're all kind of comparable. So until that video is out, um, what was I going to say? Um, I guess stay tuned for that video is what I meant to say. Um, so yes, this is all 50 colors of the Chromatech watercolor brush pens. I hope you liked to, you know, you like seeing the swatching out of their new product. Um, again, I think they're pretty awesome. I will leave links down below. Um, and I hope everybody is having a happy hump day. This is Wednesday. And uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to my channel. Again, I hope everybody's having ter a terrific week. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.